Um, Minister, just in, since you've come into government, you've made a couple of changes that have had retrospective imp uh, impacts on, on some of our members, and it has frustrated the industry in a, in a way. Um, SEP 53, you made a ch recent change which basically gives existing DAs to, um, to still use that SEP, which is great, and we welcome that. We're just concerned about the saving of trans... because your people raised it at a dinner, of course, and I therefore Thank you. addressed it immediately. <laughs> Thanks. Naturally. <laughs> um, we're just concerned that um, we need to be sure that we have savings and transitional provisions in during the next 18 months so that um, existing DAs are not affected and the development industries keeps going as it should be. Um, so we'd just like to make that point. Look, as I said to somebody during the break, the planning system will not be cryogenically frozen uh, while we do this review, we'll be moving forward. And if whilst I'm reluctant to go making too many changes, in fact, any changes if I can avoid it, um, making changes that are necessary to expedite uh, the states moving forward in the next 18 months will certainly occur if necessary. Okay. And hopefully with uh, no muck-ups on savings provisions. But thank you for Great. raising that. I really appreciate it. Minister, I live in a heritage conservation area and am a former mayor. Um, From the we... eastern suburbs, I think. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. A lot of us have become deeply concerned that heritage is falling through the cracks under the previous government. Mm -hmm. And I'd just like to put a hand up for heritage. I know there are adaptive reuses we can introduce and should be introduced as they do in Europe. But the heritage industry is really battling to retain the remnants that we've currently got. And I'd like to ensure that it's put on any new review by the current government, please. Thank you. Look, there are a lot of challenges in the heritage um, area, um, but you might or might not know that the new government has moved to, uh, to shore up, if you like, uh, conservation of our heritage through separating the uh, ministerial responsibilities. So uh, whilst I was sure I could have done a good job, uh, there's a, an inherent conflict of interest between the planning minister being also the heritage minister. So we now have uh, heritage being looked after by a separate minister in the cabinet. And there are a number of other aspects that I think need to be looked at. Certainly uh, the processes, uh, and whilst I haven't specifically discussed this with um, Tim Moore or Ron Dyer, certainly the issues around heritage uh, as it impacts uh, local communities, but the process around identifying what is and is not um, of conservation value is uh, challenging. The current processes that are adopted often through the councils and the LEPs is uh, somewhat challenging. And of course, uh, at the, uh, the higher state level, it's also uh, challenging. So those issues will certainly be looked at. So I give that assurance. Uh, Minister Alan Stoneham from Penrith Council. I um, commend you on the uh, ambitious program. Um, but as you, uh, what, Tim, yes, Minister, Tim yes. uh, and Ron are going out to the community, can I suggest that it probably would be in order for the government to recommit the state plan or the metropolitan plan in our case? Because when you're going out, you've got um, people here are well aware of the agenda that you're pursuing. But when you get out into communities, I think there might be a misinterpretation about what the intention is. And those of us who are trying to implement the current plans might well be confronted with arguments that uh, the government is about to overturn you know, current proposals that might be in the course of uh, delivery. Mm -hmm. So if you were to commit to a statement uh, that the state plan is endorsed or the metropolitan plan is endorsed and, and simply what we're talking about is finding a better way of implementing you know, those planning decisions. Take that on board. Obviously, uh, in a sense, the planning review does add to the problems you already have when there are planning issues being considered. The, the myriad of documents, whether they're uh, draft documents or actual documents, have to be considered uh, the, the way the planning system operates at the moment. Add to that a review, I agree. I'll take that on board and see what we can do. All right. Um, can I um, thank all of you, um, first of all, because uh, it's all very well us sitting up here, but if you hadn't been here to, to give us your views, to share them with us, then we wouldn't have had uh, what I think is a very good start to this planning review. Um, it is challenging. We intend to meet the challenge. It's exciting, and I intend to enjoy the excitement. Um, it is uh, probably the most exciting part of my job at the moment, um, to get on with this and to, uh, to bring about an outcome, but to work with some amazing people. Um, I want to thank uh, publicly uh, Ron Dyer and Tim Moore for agreeing to chair, chair the, uh, the review. Um, I'd also like to thank each of the, uh, the people who've taken part up here today uh, as uh, part of the original panel or part of the leaders of the various forum, or forums, fora, um, and uh, to say that we don't intend to leave you alone. We're going to be doing a lot more, obviously, over the next... Uh, 
few months to engage uh, communities all around the state. Thanks again for being part of this and thank you for, uh, I suppose in advance, if we get a few things that aren't absolutely perfect, and I don't expect that we'll get everything perfect, we won't, but we are serious about trying to get a much better deal for New South Wales, a much better planning framework, working across the various portfolios with other, other ministers and other departments to get their legislation working with ours, getting an integrated approach and really doing well for New South Wales. So forgive, forgive us if we don't get it uh, absolutely spot on every time. We are going to try. And thanks again for your uh, involvement this morning. Thank you very much.